Hello everyone, a heartily welcome to you all. I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in another mod spotlight in the hearts of Iron 4. Today we're going to take a look to the new mod called Project Wilson. Well, it only has uh, 30 subscribers. And it's still a far away from being finished, but it's a nice alternative to one of them. And I'm going to take a look on it right now. So let's take a look to the map first. The link is always to my Discord, to my Patreon, and to this mod will be down below in the, in the description. So go sure to check them out. Here you can see there in signs saying the roving nationalists. Nationalists. Alright, so we start off with one date called Project Wilson. We sadly like the description here. We have France, the UK, uh, the US, the UK, Germany, Italy, Hungary, China, and other countries as as a major here existing. Yeah, but you see that the world is kind of changed. Yeah, the world is changed. For example, Germany is non-aligned, and Hitler even doesn't live. Because the fascist party is led by Anton Drexler. And then we have Poland being um, non aligned too, led by Valery Slaviak. And we have Ukraine existing here. And then we have Bolshevik Russia and White Russia, which are, by the way, in a civil war with each other, so that might be interesting to play if you want to finish the civil war. And then, well, Europe made a change, and then he has a major change in. China, like uh, China is fascist right now, and therefore it's actually not a puppet, so it's an independent fascist China. Yeah, so Japan, I'm not sure if Japan will declare war towards China, if they do they'll meet a strong Chinese ally, that's for sure. And then America is untouched, except the fact that the second Brazilian Republic is actually democratic, so that's quite interesting. Therefore, let's see, in 1919, Woodrow Wilson attends the Treaty of Versailles, with him a set of ideas to establish a lasting peace. Wilson would go on to be very aggressive in the peace deal, straining relations between the USA and Europe greatly. At the end of the Treaty of Versailles, Austria-Hungary was divided and had lost some lands to surrounding nations and demilitarization. Germany was also forced to cede small bits of land to a new Polish state as well as demilitarize the Rhineland. While at this time the Russians fought a civil war between the Bolsheviks and Whites. During this civil war many people such as former leaders Vladimir Lenin and the Yossi Stalin were killed while Leon Trotsky was captured by the white troops. After the murder of many Ukrainians, the Ukraine had revolted and signed a peace, a white peace with the Bolsheviks in the middle of a civil war. In 1928, Hungary faced an economic collapse, which led to the rise of the Arrow Cross Party, which supported the rise of Benito Mussolini in Italy and Jiangxiang in China. More description coming soon. Thank you to my friends who helped me with the mod and kept me working on it. PS, I'll constantly be updating this mod. So, yeah, let's take a look to the Russian Civil War, how the Civil War is actually going. You'll be a bit disappointed, but let's take a look. Yeah. The thing is, the first thing is that there is no core state on either Russia. And yes, you maybe have good factories, but you don't have a single man in your army. The same goes for White Russia. They have 50 million core population, they can't get more because they don't have a core on the rest of Russia. And they only have 9 factories. But all of the nations, they do not have any standing army. And another thing is that actually um, they kept the flavor, but the focus tree has been removed for all nations. I don't know why. The British lost their focus tree, the Canadians lost their focus tree, the Americans lost their focus tree, and then the Germans lost their focus tree, and the French and the Italians, so every nation lost their. Focus tree. Yeah, that's quite interesting there. China, well, all we can see is unified if you take a look at China, they are quite strong. I mean, they are not like manpower, they have filling and factories, and therefore, yeah, I'm excited to see how 
things are gonna play out. Japan is still stronger, but will there be actually a start of war against the Chinese since Japan is actually at this very moment? Well, guess what? It, it, it uh, don't have a focus tree? I don't know. I'm also playing with the mod called Better Frontline AI, so the game doesn't get that boring against. So, and then we have component enemies. Another thing which changed is, for example, that Poland has East Bialystok and Western Poland divided up from their main provinces. That's quite interesting. So, there are new borders, and Kiev, for example, looks like that. Although Kiev is located here, which you can see the city, it's actually here. So, that's also another interesting fact. So, actually, I'm sure how the USA can get out of isolation since they uh, don't have a focus tree. That's quite interesting. Actually, I have an idea. I'm going to pray as Great Britain. And also, Germany doesn't have an arm either. But they have many factories, many military especially. But in this, this time, I'm going to play as Great Britain. And see how we can achieve, firstly, how the game is going to play out under this mod. And secondly, what we can achieve with the British Empire. There we go. Great Britain, UK. We have no history. Apparently, let's play on regular and without historical air focuses, and let's get straight into the game. Well, the British at least kept their army, their air, and their navy. This is tempting me to invade Germany, but we have to uh, get rid of the democratic path. The question is, should I go fascist or should I go uh, communist? Let's see first uh, what would be more favorable for us. Open country list. There are mm, nearly no communist nations, and uh, there are also just weak fascist nations. Well, I think my intention is rather to conquer Japan, so... I mean, my intent... I, I'm not sure, I'm just gonna see what they can achieve in this episode. Let's make an alternative story, uh, since fascists... I don't know, fascists or communists? Let's go communist. yeah. Communists, not fascists. Alright. Let's get production up and rolling, and there we go. The SRD and the Lumber King for the British. Uh, I have factories, I'm going to build many civilians in the first instance. But my aim is to conquer Germany. After I conquer Germany, I should be really good to go. In terms of factories. Actually, need oil. Britain needs oil. Look to that. Hmm. Let's get oil from the uh, Venezuelans. Yeah, we have the generic for this tree. Great fun, is it? Yeah, completely. Then, yeah, we have some things queued in. Let's finish the British naval production here outside. Oh, we have certainly a good amount. Let's tell them all to finish. We have more naval dockyards than military factories, well, which makes sense actually as Britain. If you consider the uh, circumstances, let's get artillery and anti air. Growing and also more weapons. There we go. The British industry is not capable of further expansion. But this should not mean all. Let's go, communist, and see first. Well, let's go, communist. Yeah, communist for the spotlight. Well, don't have to fear that nations may break away. So, I think actually, no wars are going to happen unless we do it because the because wars only happen if if there's a focus tree. Well, all the AI mainly, they are not like claiming states, therefore yeah, things should be quite smooth there. Let's see, my fleets, let's combine our fleets, channel force, yeah, you know the British fleet, the strongest fleet in the entire world. Well, we have 19 divisions here, that's not really that much to be honest. We have a couple of unassigned ones as well, here in Africa, etc. Ready, sir. ready, great to see you ready, mates. All in. Yeah, let's get them all into onto British soil, I'd say. Because, well, we bloody intend to invade the Germans. Ready, sir. Yeah, Britain has to spread. Uh, Come on. Actually, huh. A thing because Germany went fascist, would not it be interesting if we went fascist too? Let's go fascist. People were complaining that I was going communist all the time, so I'll go fascist this time. There we go. Is it John Beckett? 
the higher ups may spoken I'm born sympathies. Yeah, the spoiler is also higher, so let's say nice pick. I can't go for the collectibles ether, so I can just go for the enable efforts. Get this extra three. Enable dockyards which will greatly assist the British efforts. Of establishing world peace. I'm going to um actually deselect how can I uh just delete all of my airwings. I intend to do a well thorough level of British reorganization, especially of the British airports. Okay, we got basic machine tools, let's get this plus in mass three. Okay, it's banned, so there we go. Well, it will take some time until we actually become uh Marcus, I think, therefore let's get country ready and steady. Never ever complete. Yeah, let's get my ships in on the bridge as well. The Greater Lomb Maria. These seven ships do well. It's great, just they have the strongest fleet in the entire world, isn't it? Ready, sir. it certainly is. They are going and leaving too. Let's tell here. You shouldn't fear Japanese attack because you know AI without. The focus tree won't really be aggressive, I'm certain of that, so therefore just stand back smooth and steady. Let's go for the international effort. Germany, oh, they still, oh, they're getting actually arms, they're 15 to 22 divisions. So they are getting troops really, really quick. I mean, they have 36 to 42 factories, so invading them may be quite hard. But let's see if we can enable. To invade the Germans before the war breaks out. We only have all the ships except the destroyers, so let's get more GHI class destroyers. Then we have to certainly research that and research newer ships. So I think let's go for military factories. I mean, it's it, it, it will take too long until we get fascists, but at that time, I think the German will have a strong army ready to do to defend themselves against the outlooming British threat, I think. We shall see how that turns to be out. Okay, we have 38 civilian factories. We are only getting 4 through freight. I expected to get more through freight. Apparently, yeah, not. Let's go for the. Uh, perhaps the army efforts. Yeah, army efforts. Grand battle plan complete. Army focus and demands. And also, I want to go for. Um, Upon politics and also take a military, maybe a war industrialist. Yeah, the fascists are rising in Britain, and no one will be able to stop it. Let's get many, many weapons. Yeah, we like manpower, but don't forget we have dominions and we can use their manpower, especially after British Raj. That should not be a problem there. Britain is an empire at this very moment, so expansion should be smooth and easy. Sadly, I can't declare war straight away because the Germans are strengthening themselves. And let's see, well, the French army is quite strong, so we won't oppose the French army at this moment. No focus sets, doctrine. Uh, let's go for the extra factory here. Done with you, let's get the industry up running and going. Let's tell you, do you have any unassigned troops? Listen up. I have the defense for us. Oh, actually, let's get the troops of our dominions into our country. Oh, there are only a four. Come on, I thought Canada has more divisions. I was mistaken there. Listen up. I think all of them started out with zero divisions. That's the main problem. If they have no divisions, then yeah, we cannot use their divisions. Because forces of the British Raj for. Indian divisions fully greatly appreciated in the war about 44 divisions already, that's quite a bit. And Australia has uh, some divisions. New Zealand has actually none. Listen up. Australia, there we go, 45. Attention. 46 and 47. So yeah, all of our nations actually have zero divisions. Do not ask me why, that's the case, I bloody don't know, that should be the case I think, but yeah. That's how it is. There we go, we have 60 military factories, while the Germans they have slightly a bit more, but our army is still bigger. Ready, sir. Therefore, let's increase, come on, fascism, go and 
to end fast, so we are already 9.37. Nothing really happened. Oh, we don't have marines. Well, invasion without marines will be hard, but I'm gonna try my best. It's going to try to invade with uh, basic infantry divisions. If that's if that's the necessity, then I'd say then that's the way. Uh, let's get the well-equipped divisions though. Mm, well try and well-equipped British divisions. Ten of them. Ten of them. All right. Made from London. Onto I would say just if they land somewhere there, then we'll be fine. Uh, they're gonna be led by Field Marshal uh, Alan. Mm. Don't I have a general specialized for naval invasions? I don't know, this is quite nice. Auto supply, commando. Although he's only level 1, still he's useful. Next thing, armament. FAT 2. Let's get a doctrine FAT as Britain. Construction 2. Come on, Jeremy. Before they get strengthened, we're going to conquer them. With the British army and the dominions. After that, well, I think it would be nice if we could uh, recapture the American states, if we could annex the USA or per perhaps even puppet them. But then our power would be really, really strong. And they have the Great Depression. If I puppet them, do they lose it or not? That's the main question here. Huh. I don't know. I think I'm going to annex Germany though. Yeah. Let's actually annex Aryan nations. That's not popular any. Let's establish a British World Empire. Or try so in this episode at least. We have 191 ships here. I think this fleet is kind of unpenetrable, unbeatable if you ask me. That's the entire British fleet combined, the entire force of the British Navy combined in one province. The British strength at its finest extent. The fascists, they are really taking the time to rise to power. So we are still stuck with this civilian economy. What we can get though is um, a silent workhorse and then also traditional roles. And let's build more military factories for the sole purpose of getting the Germans conquered. Although, I think, come on, they have. Okay, they aren't really building any divisions. We have 47. I'm confident that we'll be able to invade the Germans without any problems. This is my entire fleet combined now. There we go, 205. Well, not really, that's... Yeah. I want to see how strong it is. Definitely let's send every ship into one province. There we go, the Mediterranean fleet as well. And then the New Zealand division. British strength. British strength. Civil War for Fascism? No. No Civil War. We must unite the people first. Uniting first and then going to war. I'd like an extra spot, so actually I'll, I'll aim for that. And then, perhaps, uh, yeah, we need certainly, let's get uh, more tanks. I want a highly mobile army as well. More sport equipment though as well. More clearly too, and more planes. We only only have one production on planes. Thank God the British uh, Air Force is quite strong already. Otherwise, it will be quite problematic. The flash is there 35%. It's rising quite slowly. Uh, we are not getting any events, and therefore the rise is really greatly and uh, not really strengthened by that. Because let's see, we have lost 15,000 infantry equipment in storage. At this point, I'd say, let's modify our divisions, adding the American company and two more infantry brigades. Actually, one only, because I don't have the experience required to add more. Instruction 2. My tank brigade is quite horrible. We only have tanks in it and nothing else, so let's try in some marines. Marines in London, perhaps. Then, we like manpower, can I actually enact? Yeah, I can enact. Limited transcription, that's at least good. Let's maximize all the weapon lands too. Alrighty out. Then let's get assault or infantry. Let's get assault. Although my army isn't really mechanized. Yeah, let's let's I mm. let's actually go for fine. Assault, come on. 
Uh, yeah, I should actually get... Oh, I don't even have motorized equipment research. That's the problem why my army is really not mobile. Listen up. If you like that, then of course it's it won't be mobile. Let's train all of our divisions so we get some experience there. Transcription up. There we go. Get the effort going. Come on, fuck so Why don't we get events? Getting a single event would greatly strengthen things for us. Well, now things are. We could actually invade the Americans too. The Americans or the Germans. Well, the Americans are still stuck with their undisturbed isolation, so invading them will be quite, quite easy. Well, the Germans too. The Germans have more military factories, while the Americans are kind of stuck. They cannot really expand their army. I think I'm going to even try to get both. Both the Americans and the Germans. Very, very. Get the Hawker Hurricane. Unbelievable that the British don't have it even researched at this point. They are trying to do our train too. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the Americans. They will be really more useful than the yes, Germans. Sir. So therefore, let's get our troops. They will go... Let's... Move them all to uh, this foreign supply mouth. After that, they'll move into Canada. New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Americans, be ready for a vital invasion of the states. Common cause and say firepower. Uh, I have outdated tanks, so let's get the Matilda tank. I actually need oil, so let's get oil from one of our from the British Malaysians. Actually, I intend to actually annex all my puppets, so I don't want to increase uh, increase the autonomy. Therefore, it would be smart not to get it from them. Let's rather get it, for example, from the um, Russians. I need 24. Uh, isn't there a possible ally? Not really. Let's get it from the Venezuelans. They uh, won't be of harm to anyone, therefore, yeah, we can get it from them. All right, did they arrive? I want to tell them, smart, to only attack from these uh, provinces, to leave the east completely unexposed, and then just to strike into America, harsh and swift, like this, a thorough battle plan. After we catch up these days, the Americans should surrender. Nobody can stop the advancement of the British people. Well, if we can turn fascist, I think well, we aren't getting any events, so is it actually possible to turn fascist? It should be. Yeah, come on, I I mean, I got the event fascism on right, so we are just waiting for it to, to kind of happen, yeah. I could need some motorized troops, but I'm growing honey with ice, because seemingly we are getting no events. We didn't get a single event until this very moment. And that's a fact which I do not like. Because, I mean, why shouldn't we be able to turn fascists? We have to be able to turn fascists. Perhaps that's the way with Britain. Next thing, let's go for... Um, infantry yeah, advancements. First army will be uh, led by Alan Broke. There we go, extra research slots. Let's get another one. There we go. What? Why a civil war? We are always getting into the civil war. Yeah. Okay. So actually, we can turn fascists. So that's a good thing, at least. The American army. They were quite strong at the beginning, but we are stronger. We are stronger. Let's request forces of oh, 14 divisions from Canada. Okay, let's assign them, all of them, actually, to our first British army. Listen up. The British reconquest of the Americans. Isn't that a great thing? Isn't that a truly great, great thing? The British Raj troops get their 13 divisions. Just great how we are getting every all of the divisions from our colonies into direct command under the British high commands. The South African troops, or they have plenty, they have earlier. All of this. If we miss any of our colonies, British Malay, they don't have any divisions. That's fine. Ready, Assign them all to this skull so they'll start moving into their respective positions. Let's continue British industrialization. Continue that. 
right. Sussex. There we go. Oil. Mm, need one oil. Let's get actually two more lines. There we go from the fascists. I think I'm gonna save up my power now. Yeah, from now on, let's save that. We can actually attack and defense, or as an army attack and army defense. Let's go for the nuclear effort. Perhaps even start researching the nuclear book train. So we can use the other thing on that. So let's get yeah, one slot dedicated to atomic research. We can finally upgrade our yeah, for us, there we go. Okay, I reckon one. Well, our army should be combined around 1 million strong. Fighting against the Americans. Let's see how they'll meet. But yeah, we have actually quite a high amount of infantry equipment in surplus. Let's actually add one more line of infantry and one line of artillery. There we go. We still have a high surplus, so I don't know if we're going to try any more troops because we lack the. Let's finish. I have to get the uh, research going here for self concentration. Then um, let's go for yeah, encryption and decryption, as well as also for the uh, industrial well, part and focus there. Well, to be honest, it's nice, it's a nice mod, but even I don't know why, but the civil war in Russia isn't progressing any further. It's because of the fact that they started off with uh, nothing. With exactly zero divisions. I think that's uh, why the AI is having such a hard time, such an insanely hard time to be honest, of getting advanced. It may be fun if you want to aim for a world domination. As you can see, it's certainly doable and fun. But don't expect the world to be uh, kind of alive because the world is not really alive. Not really. Well, the French, the French, they're gonna fall too, but we need some better Marines. Yeah, they both of them. Actually, the White Russia has 16 to 30 divisions. Why is the artist asking for civil war? Come on, let's... I don't want to go for the civil war. So we are in 1939. We have to perhaps uh, gain more than half of the popularity in order to uh, get fascists. And let's take some time, but I'm going to finish the campaign. The campaign against the American state. The conquest of America. You can see they have the majority of the army here. I mean they can capture these provinces. I don't care. I really don't care because there's nothing. Well Vancouver perhaps, but that's it. I mean I don't care about Canada. I care about the result about the outcome. Mm. Yeah I should really go for motorized research. I completely forgot that. What I, I even have motorized why didn't I produce it now? That was an utter mistake I have to admit. There we go, now the referendum, finally. Austin K5, on the highly mobile army, therefore are going to get many lots of motorized equipment. Lots of. Okay, so the slot available is Denmark too. There we go, we turn fascist, the British Empire. We're going to restart the British Empire. 20 days. It will raise by 57%, but I don't care. There we go, capture on New York. Americans ready yourself for the upcoming British invasion. Let's move our points actually. Deploy our points. Let's get rid of those. Of our fleet. We kind of wanted our fleet. No need to waste our fleet. There we go. Yeah, actually, if I public the USA, I get the entire fleet too. Hmm. Not sure, I think I may puppet them. I may puppet them. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should puppet them or not. If I puppet them, you know what? I can simply annex them while going down to this path to separate subjects. I think that's the way I'm going to do. I think let's do that. Let's firstly take no states, after that, let's suppress them and do a full annexation of the United uh, States. But I don't think the time will be enough if, if, if I consider that. So, yeah. Just declare war. Let's get our air force into the region. St. Lawrence. Wings of 200 planes. Hawker Hurricane. There we go. Southern Ontario. Wings of 200 planes each. The war bomber. Dive bomber. 
we help elves? That's fine, they're all deploying right now. So let's go for... Let's actually start what I want at Militarism. It's funny if the collective is ethos. If you want to see me to conquer the entire world, or my or most of the corners of it as Britain in this month, actually let me know. Let me know down below in the comments. If it gets sufficient support, I'm gonna do that. There we go. It's valid until when? Until the uh, 30th of July. Planes are ready. They will go to... It's called Strategic Region 197. I don't know why. Fine. Air Supremacy. We need no interception, I'd say. Okay, let's go for interception too. These planes, the bombers, bump the American troops. While the rest go to the Strategic Region 198. And to the West Coast. Well, full of wrath of British. Unleash, unleash on the Americans. Call allies, there we go. Now execute aggressively. Victory for all the hours. Americans, you will rejoin Britain. The independence war will be fought for naught. There you go, we encircled their troops already. Great. Let's see how long the Americans will be able to resist their righteous master. The British master race. There we go, let's go for... Actually, total mobilization. I'd like to go for total mobilization perhaps. Yeah, let's enact the let's also enact extended conscription. Okay, total mobilization. Total. Also army offense. Just see how we are rushing through, rushing through America. All of our enemies are just marching through on a pause through the American lands. The British Empire, rule Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. What does that sound, please? Oh, it sounds like the, a naval invasion, I think. Hmm. Does it? No. Not really. The Americans are actually 77% towards capitulation. We have 800,000 killed manpower, while they have 144. Well, the Canadians, they did 21% of the job. But well, they did it nice, Canada. We have to capture some of the victory points. They're yeah, doing just fine there, just pushing into America, pushing them back swiftly. Like I said, they can invade from this per from these provinces. It's not a problem for us. Is it? Let's get the brand carrier. I'll also go for the nationalist focus. Oh, Britain having. Total mobilization enacted is certainly great for the British war efforts. Who shall be next up on the list? I think let's train our marines. Let's get them engineer companies, rigging companies, spot out artillery. Maybe not that. Also increase their strength. Marines, at least 10 divisions, at least 10. Should we get more? Let's make it 15 divisions. 15 divisions, also a brigade of artillery and anti air. There we go. Marines. British Marines. Come on. American surrender. Why? What do you have to capture? Uh, perhaps Florida, Miami. Oh, Americans are 99% towards capitulation. 99%. And now they should surrender. There we go. The USA is capitulated. What? What? Fr after the surrender of the USA, France joined the North American Confederation. What? After the surrender? Come on, they surrendered, then they joined the North American Confederation. Oh, wow. So, France. France, France, France. But, but, but they surrendered already. Now, now, we have to, now we have to beat the French up as well. This is quite problematic right now, because the French army is quite strong. Oh, we have 326 ships here, the home fleet. So they're going to go for search and destroy the French navy at once. 326 ships. Yeah, the naval outcome against the entire navy. They're gonna just lose everything. Everything. Let's get our planes, our carrier bombers here as well upon the region. Then... Mm, Let's get whom army regrouping army logistics. Well, this was really not 
Not expected at all. Completely unexpected. Let's go for the task battle. Yeah, they have uh, now it's France. They are bombing Britain now. Oh, who do you think they are, France? Who do you think you are, Wally Man? All right, I'm going to invite another another D-Day, perhaps. Let's see, actually, if we invade that this area. Oh, so you have to invade from this province, from Dover, upon these four. Yeah. To this general. We're ready for the invasion. And the French army should just get crashed at once. What the French? Well, that's actually quite interesting right now. The British fighting the French. I mean, obviously, we kind of won the war against the Americans, but now we have we would have to occupy all of America. So I'm just going to enact a soft policy of occupation and send my entire army away from the Americans. Well, I can't see the USA as an occupied territory. Why? Well, because Canada. It captured to all of Canada. Well, that's quite interesting. <laughs> Ask for control of state, let's ask. I mean, they have to give everything to us except maybe one province. Let's get everything from the Canadians. Find the Utah, Arizona, California, Nevada, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Florida, Arkansas, Alabama, Iowa, Georgia, Minnesota, Carolina. Actually, they see it as unjust if we get more. Let's cut. Let's see. Let's see. They can be states. They can give them. Now well, we got the great American industry on our side. Now we are swift, I mean, soft policy of occupation. Then, well, what should I get? I'm building many destroyers already. Perhaps need even more, because I didn't research anything else. Then let's get the world's largest army. So let's get finish this to the maximum. Also more entry equipment. Also more tanks and more points, more sport equipment and mostly more artillery as well. More anti-air. There we go. We have 22 destroyers while the French lost 55. Plus, yeah, they got their entire navy here under this area. Their entire navy. So you go for now a strike. Britain, all of the sound. Otherwise, you go into Sussex. Yeah. Well, I thought the peace treaty would come about exactly at the point when America surrendered. Ready to move. What happened was that they. That's kind of interesting. Let's move them into this province so they can uh, depart safely. Move out. You'll have to hope that they will not get shot down by the French Navy. Or that they should not. Or by the American Navy, maybe. Yeah. I think now nah, I think we should be we should we should be fine clearly. Okay, infantry divisions. Also a line of anti-air. There we go, and let's train more of the infantry divisions. We don't have a motorized brigade yet. That's fine. Training 25 divisions. That's, that's great. Let's get motorism now. Alright, medium bomber Northern France, dive bomber Northern France, bomber English Channel, actually go active in this region as well. Yeah, supremacy above British soil, that's the most important. And in the Northern France, there we go. Alright. Do you have any unassigned points? At least three. Uh, you can destroy you. There we go. So let's check the naval battle. We lost 41 destroyers and 50, 13 bombers. Although the French lost 55 destroyers, 5 heavy cruisers, 7 light cruisers, and 22 submarines. But this battle was a great victory. A certainly great victory. And. Let's be fleet. A fleet is well. It's, in, it's based in Scottish Highlands. Let's do a split of the mail. Well, a 
Fire at will, of course. It can't I uh, create? Okay, I'll find they are repairing. It's gonna take some time. Can't I simply detach the split office in my Can't repair task. Can't I? Hmm. Alright, fine. Well, they're repairing and I... Mm. I don't care. Let's go for... I thought that I would be able to create a separate fleet. Anyways, let's go for... Sorry, let's try in the English channel. Come on. There we go, the French. Well, the French will be easy to take out. Then we'll have France and America added into the British Empire. Isn't that great? That would be a great victory. A great victory for us. Let's get the landing crushed, actually. We are prepared well enough, and you still have to uh, move. Let's see, we have 84 divisions. Let's see if we actually lose any. You go this way of transports. I want to see. I want to find it out. Let's see if you lose any. Yes, sir. Well, the French. Mm, uh, so certainly Woodrow Wilson's. Uh, yes, sir. Well, he wanted eternal peace, but how you see peace? Yeah, it didn't really happen. Ready, sir. I could invade France right now, but I think I'm gonna wait a bit until my forces arrive. Orders. There we go. Actually, I think yeah, we're gonna lose zero divisions. That's great. After the, well, I am far above my time limit, but I want to get the French beaten, and after that I'm going to finish the episode, so I hope you are thrilled for it. Like I said, if you want to see me to continue yes, this, sir. let me know down below in the description. Move they can out. move down, and our marines go ahead and attack, and there we go. Okay, what we landed, we captured Normandy, we captured Normandy, yes, well sir. this is kind of a nice surprise. Oh, what we just landed in, in the France. Let's see the French. Their unity of thirty percent. Of thirty percent. Expand, 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 expand. Come on. Well, will the ten marines actually able to capture the French? If so, it would be just good. just quite surprising and great. Where's the French army? I mean, they have a hundred and thirty-four divisions. Can somebody tell me, please, where is the army of the French? Where is the French army? Attention. Where is it? Just look at the British Empire, we're just invading France like there's nothing. I mean, I can't see the army. Come on, I... Flying with the front line. Well, there we go, Treaty of Manila. The French surrender because what equipment and weapons, and there we go. Now, well, no free France, let's pass some, some times. Or what they are liberating, how can Canada please do something? Well, they liberated Canada, Vietnam, Lebanon, Syria, and Laos. I want to annex that, come on, so... Ah. Well, they're going to annex, take all states of the French, and take all states of the Americans, plus take all states of the Philippines. There we go. Now, the British Empire with 435 factories. The world's strongest nation. Now, it will be time to suppress subjects, so we can just create one nation, one British Empire. Well, at this point, I think, I mean... Nobody could oppose us, it would be just a conquest, a easy conquest of the world. And look, the Russian civil war still didn't advance for one centimeter. The communists didn't produce even one extra unit. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Sacred and I'm out. Have a good day to you all and see you next time. Goodbye and have a nice day.